Alright guys, it's the Camaster, and as you can tell by the title, I feel like, well I felt like giving you my thoughts on the transfer window, um, especially the deadline day, because, I don't know, there's a few things I want to get off my chest, really, like, well, from a Liverpool point of view, since I'm a big fan, as you all know, um, well if you didn't know, you know now. Well anyway, let me start off by saying it was a weird um, window. Especially for Liverpool, because we didn't bring in a striker, and we learned out uh, Andy Carroll yesterday to West Ham. I heard, well, from what I heard, it's uh, we get three million now or something like that, and then they give us 17 million or so if West Ham stay up. So something like that. Um, well, anyways, we didn't bring in a a number nine, well, no number nine, which is a bit worrying because. If Suarez or Barini or some, someone like that gets injured, we are well and truly fucked. Because who's going to put the ball in the net, practically? Because um, Suarez, like, I love Suarez and everything. He's just a, he's a fantastic player, don't get me wrong. But he just struggles to put the ball in the net. Yeah, so that's a worry for us, Liverpool. Um, I just don't understand why we didn't bring a striker in. Uh, a lot of people pointing the finger to Ian Eyre. I might have butchered that word. E is it Ian Eyre? Ian Eyre? Or one of them. Um, or it could be FSG, who have declined, who has declined Rogers of the money for to actually bring in a new striker slash winger. Because uh, we badly need one. We've, we've sold about eight or nine players, something like that. And we've saved a lot of wages, but like we haven't brought we've only we've only brought in five players which yeah is a lot of players but we've only just sort of replaced them so what you call it a bit crack on um with the transfers what happened charlie adam went to stoke for four million that's what sky sports said there's a lot of reports it was five well whatever the case uh, he went to stoke um yeah. I believe he wanted to stay at Liverpool, but like Rodgers was honest with him and told him, "Look, you're gonna have to go out the door in order because you won't get a game with Sahin, Allen, Gerrard, and Lucas to come back in three months. So yeah, you won't really get a game on Henderson as well. Uh, Jay Spear went to Bolton on loan. I'm glad of that. Me and a lot of Liverpool fans are glad of that. To be to be fair to him, he's, he's probably a nice chap and everything, but he's just not the quality if you know what I mean um, he could be a proper top guy and everything but obviously it's about ability when it comes to football isn't it um, but I wish him well and I wish Jay Adam well as well Scott Sinclair went to Man City apparently with 6.5 million that's a bargain even though he'll probably sit on the bench I rate Scott Sinclair a lot um, obviously not on the he's not obviously not, not on the same like level as players like Matter and and Nobed Nanny, but um, what do you call it? He's, uh, he's he's not bad. He's not bad. Mycon went to Man City. This was, a, in my opinion, one of the good signings of the day. Um, Four million for a Champions League winner. I know he's 31 years old, but imagine that experience he's got. As long as he doesn't play against Gareth Bale, because he ripped into shreds. Um, and when it when Tottenham played. Uh, was it Inter Milan? Yeah, it was, of course, Inter Milan, but they played him and then he came back. I think it was 4-3 or 4-4, four, four, something like that. But anyways, I think that's a good signing. He's won a lot of trophies as my con. He would bring a lot of experience. Hugo Loris, this is a good signing, in my opinion. Brad Friedel's good, but he's getting on and bringing in a top-class keeper like Loris is, uh, which will be, will be, like, very... Welcome by the Spurs fans since he's a good he's a good player. I mean, over the last year or so he hasn't been too great, but Leon hasn't been great. And whenever players play shit or don't perform, players around you don't perform either. I mean, you don't perform either. Sorry, you know. Joao Moutinho, the 11 p.m. deadline. Joao Moutinho, the deal was meant to be was seen as like the deal didn't go through but 
they've been Tottenham have been given an extra few hours to um, to complete the deal. It's half twelve at the moment while I'm doing this. Um, so I don't know if, if the deal will be completed for all I know something could happen again. Um, but just as I was about to recall this, I saw that Tottenham have been given t extra time to to uh, sign him, um, and that's because they've provided. Because in order to do that, you have to provide proof that uh, you've agreed a fee with this the certain club you're actually dealing with. So, and obviously they must have done that and they showed it to the FA or the Premier League or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, hold up! I've just after recording this commentary. I've just found out that Joe Moutinho to Tottenham is off according to BBC and Goal.com. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of a turnaround. That was going to be for 22 million as well. So that's been called off. So unlucky Spurs, Spurs fans. Um, you got Clint Dempsey. So, anyways, just thought I'd butt in with that. I'm going to have to. So yeah. Let me continue with the normal commentary. De Jong to Milan. I like De Jong. I think he's a quality player. I mean, I don't like what he did to uh, Jabby Alonso in the World Cup because that was just dirty, but I do think he's a good player. He seems like a, a funny guy too, but yeah, he's a good player in my opinion. Yes, man, I've got themselves a bag in there. I heard it was something like something, sh something really cheap. Uh, I don't have a figure, but something cheap. Uh, Clint Dempsey to Spurs. Now, I don't know, I mean, he was meant to go to Liverpool, um, but according to loads of sources, like, ranging from BBC to Sky, uh, Liverpool only offered, like, something like 3 million or 4 million, and I don't understand what is going on there. I mean, we've been, it's obvious we've been, this might, sound, might not be the right term, we've been stalking him. Like practically, he really wanted to wear the red shirt. You can tell he really wanted to play for us. And to be honest, I don't blame him for joining Tottenham because we've just messed him about. He said, "I'm sure Talk Sport quoted him as saying, if I don't get my move to wherever, where I don't think he named the club in the statement, but if I don't get my move to etc. etc. Um, I'm off to I'm off to retire." Which is a bold statement, um, but you know, so I don't blame him to, for going to Spurs. Spurs seem to be just stealing our targets, basically. But can you blame him with the money they've got? Right, Benny Yoon. This was announced late as well. Benny Yoon has gone to West Ham on loan. That's a great signing for West Ham, I believe. Um, Benny Yoon is a good player. Uh, he came out on Twitter saying. He wasn't linked to Liverpool or Arsenal because people were coming out with rumours saying he was. Uh, well, I'm guessing that wasn't the case, but he's a good player, underrated. Um, apparently, according to a few people on Twitter, he's quoted as saying, I wish I'd never signed for Chelsea or something, something like that. Um, but he's a good player. I mean, he was great for Liverpool. I, I can vouch for him. He was good. And at Arsenal as well. Watched him a few times at Arsenal, good. This was announced late as well, another late um, agreement. Michael Essien has gone to Real Madrid on a season-long loan. I think this is a good sign in this, because um, he's he's definitely not going to get get game time. I think Chelsea had an offer from Arsenal for him, um, which he obviously rejected. If that's true, I, I might be wrong. It might have not been true, but there was a big room that Arsenal did offer for him, but... I think that's a good signing from Jose Mourinho, to be honest with you. He's a good... In the, on his day, when he's not got any injuries, he is, fat, he is great. I've seen some good performances from him on his day. MBA, gone to QPR from Marseille, I think. I'm sure, I'm 99% I'm sure it was from Marseille. That's a good signing. QPR San Granero yesterday. Um, Esteban Granero. Liverpool was stalking him. I don't know, I ain't got a better term than that, but it's best I can come up for at half twelve in the morning. What to, what to say about him? Uh, he's good, but we'll see if he can fulfil his potential because he's highly rated by a few spectators. Nastasic gone to Man City. What to say about him? 
I don't really know nothing about him, but he's highly rated in Italy. Played for Fiorentina. A lot of Man City fans say he's a good player, but I, I'm not sure about that. Bentner to Juventus. This was a shocker, to be honest with you. Nicholas Bentner. Juventus went from signing, well, trying to sign RVP and Suarez to signing Nicholas Bentner. I, I don't know, but I just found that really funny. That's on a loan. He had a good Euro, so that was probably what convinced him to. Berbatov to Fulham. This is a good buy, in my opinion. Four million pounds around that area. Four million. That is a bargain. I don't think that is a bargain. He has a he has a habit of scoring against Liverpool, isn't it, a few times, especially in that three-two winner over us. Um, he's he was he is a good player. He he wanted game time, and now he's got it. Uh, it was I think he was. He could have gone to Juventus or something like that, but he chose Fulham. But that's a good signing from Fulham, that is. Especially for four million. Gaston Ramirez has gone to Southampton for twelve million. That's a good signing for them. Uh, he was linked to Liverpool and Tottenham for a while, but I don't think any of them wanted to sort of commit themselves because that is a lot of money for an unproven player. Um, I heard he asked for a lot of wages too, so yeah. For all, we, for all we know, he could be the next wonder kid. Could be good. This was another uh, com uh, deal that was confirmed late. Uh, Javi Garcia to Man City for sixteen million pounds. That's it. He's uh, apparently he's the cousin of Luis Garcia, the ex-Liverpool um, striker. Got a very important goal to Liverpool. He's highly rated in Portugal. He, he, the signing from Benfica. Um, he's a midfielder. I'm, I, if I'm right or not, I may not be. I, I think he's a holding midfielder or something like that. I'm sure he is. Or he can go. Or he's a centre attacking mid. One of the two. He's been linked to a few clubs. If I'm right, I think I'm right. Um, yeah, I think that's a good signing for them. They, they've been needed signings. And uh, they've got them, so that's three signings for them. Pablo Hernandez to Swansea for 5.5 .5 million. That's a great signing. Swansea have really impressed me this this uh, summer when it comes to signings. Signing that Michu, he's he's been playing really well. Um, scored in both games, I believe. Um, fantastic uh, for Michael Loudrup. Um, I say I am a lot, guys. I'm sorry about that, but I can't help it. I know I need to work on that. But, uh, yeah, Michael Laudrup has just impressed me. It came from Hoffenheim, I think. I didn't really know how good of a manager he was, but he's really doing well. If he keeps up what he's doing, then Swansea could be in the top half. I really believe that. And this was the shocker of the day for me. The absolute shocker of the day. Van der Vaart to Hamburg, and if you're not shocked by that, I'd, I don't know what to say because Van der Vaart has been incredible for Spurs. I remember when Harry Redknapp bought him, and he was incredible. Eight million pounds for Van der Vaart. I think Real Madrid bought him for something like 25, 30 million, and they got him for eight million pounds. Incredible. Um, he's, he's been, I just I don't know, I just found that shocking because he's a good player and I really rate him. So I think that's it for now, but for my message to Liverpool fans who are watching, um I'd like uh, well to any fan who's watching, please like let me know who your who you think's gonna impress in the Premier League from these new signings. Um and who you think is gonna who you think did the best out of all the teams like pick a few teams maybe or pick one or whatever just pick the team that you think or teams you think have done well in this window just predict what what you think basically um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this guys it's been a pleasure to bring this to you um i love talking about football we all do and i love i love just finding out what you guys think as well i love because every comment I get, I always reply to it no matter what. Obviously, but if he's stupid, then obviously not. 
but yeah, I can't be you can't be a bit of banter on there uh, about football and whatnot and just general debate. So, um, thanks for listening. I hope you've listened this far in. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. It's half twelve. Um, been keeping up to date with the transfers and whatnot to make this video, but uh, just keep up your support. I hope you can show this video some love because it took me a lot of effort to make. Um, so thank you for just listening. Alright guys, I hope you all have a great day or great day tomorrow. And uh, football's back on tomorrow. I love football. Can't live, go a day without it really. And uh, can't wait to Liverpool versus Arsenal Sunday. Come on Liverpool. Come on you Reds. Come on you Reds.